So I'm going backwards now. I'm taking you on a journey. So this is bubbles, backwards bubbles, just using our edges. And what is my inside leg about to do? Just cross over in the back. Cross. on this video so I'm on my phone today so the quality isn't as good as it could be however we're still gonna make it work this is actually where I train so I thought we would get some good shots in today especially for backward skating now backward skating it's a lot so I'm going to show you some tricks and drills that you can do if you're having trouble with the backwards crossover or backward skating in general it might mean that the weight is not in the back of your skates I'm going to show you some drills that you can do to put that weight in the back of your skates and get used to it. If you haven't seen already, if I'm under 1,000 subs, you can still enter the amazing competition we've got on at the moment. The links to that are below. It's absolutely free to enter and first prize is absolutely amazing. It is a custom animation portrait of myself. I have one of these. I'm super lucky to have one of these in my house and I love it. So make sure you enter. I'm just going to go over Hello, string. We're just going to go over some things today to help facilitate your backwards crossovers, your backwards skating, and learn to have that weight in the back of your skates. After you're nice and warm, we definitely want to bend those knees. Like always, backward skating is very, very low. Okay, so not this, that's not low. Legs nice and low. So for warming up backwards, I just want you to do some gait stuff. So when I'm gating my legs, the weight is shifting from back to forward, back to forward. Okay. So really put your weight at the back of your skate. So the next thing we're going to do is some transitions and touching the ground. When we transition, we make sure our knees are bent. We're not doing like that to touch the ground. We're making our knees do the work. So we're nice and warm. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we're all warmed up, we're feeling good, we're balancing our skates, the weight can go in the back of our skates, easy. The best thing to do is find a circle in your space that you're working with and just get used to doing your backwards bubbles for a bit. legs job is pumping it's doing that half bubble and this one here is just guiding us in that circle okay the backwards crossover this inside leg its job is to come back okay so just go backwards for a bit back back exactly how we backwards bubble backwards bubble this leg here our inside leg Coming up and lifting. Backward bubble, up lift. Again, this job 
of this leg is to lift up and with our pinky toe, it's pushing out. So bubble, lift this one up when we're coming in, push out. Out, push out. While this leg's doing its job of pushing out, you're probably wondering what's this leg doing? So that backwards bubble, this one pushes out, this one just goes back to doing a bubble. There, reset. So again, to be able to facilitate this a lot better, you need to be comfortable on doing one leg glides. So make sure you're able to do that as well. Spend some time practicing gliding. So many things that we can do in between of getting that backwards crossover. We do our glides, we do our staggered feet, learning how to put the weight in the back of our feet. We do our backwards bubbles, okay? I'm gonna give you some more footwork shows. Pull, back, push. Bubble, back, push, okay? Bubble. Back, push. Back, reset. Bubble, back, reset. Bubble, back, reset. So I'm going backwards now. I'm taking you on a journey. So I'm on the track now and I'm going backwards. Now, helps that you look where you're going. Okay, this is a bit more advanced. My body is up straight. It's not like this. I'm looking to where I'm going. And I'm just backwards skating. So it's just like crisscross motion, okay? Easy. So this is bubbles, backwards bubbles, just using our edges. And what is my inside leg about to do? Just cross over in the back, cross over in the back, cross over in the back. Easy. So when you first start, you might look like this and it looks like you're chicken scratching. That's okay. Just learn to do it nice and deep. You got this. That is it for me. I'm not gonna overcomplicate it. We're not gonna over talk about it. Go through and watch what my skates are doing, okay? It's just the bubble, and then we're just bringing more flavor to it, I guess. So don't stress. Get the weight in the back of your heels. Get comfortable with going backwards. Get comfortable with gliding, transitioning, and all you're doing is bringing that inside leg through, through. Through. If you can do bubbles, you can do this. If you've got any questions, comment below and I will answer. And make sure to leave me a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And it's an absolute blessing to be with you, coaching you today. Have the best day.